Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat, and today I wanted to talk about how to take the wireframe we previously created and turn this wireframe into a solid model, uh, review some selection options, and then also get into some filleting. So let's get right into it. We have our wireframe here, and what we want to do is turn this into a solid. So we're going to use Surface Extrude Curve. And when it comes to extruding or surfacing, we're going to have to select some of this wireframe or surface edges. In this case, it's wireframe. So you have a couple of options for selection. You can just chain select, which is shift left click, and you could select around the items that you want to work with. Uh, but one of the other very powerful tools that we have is being able to select by color or also being able to pick by layer. Uh, if you take the time to prep your geometry to put it on layers, it's nice to be able to just grab those layers directly without having to chain select. So once you have the geometry selected, you can spacebar. And here you'll see a preview of our extrusion. Now you can pull the extrusion up or, or down in either direction. In this case, we want this to be 12 millimeters going in one direction and 12 millimeters going in the other direction. And this will give us our solid. We'll choose OK. Now actually, before we choose OK, whatever active layer we're on is the layer that that geometry will be created on. So we want to make sure we're on our solid layer and choose OK. All right, so now we've done our first extrusion. The next thing we want to do is look at our front view wireframe. And uh, this geometry, we want to cut away from the model. Now, when we created it, we used our front UCS. So we'll go ahead and make that active. And then from here, we're going to do our extrude cut, where you can also find under solids, you have extrude cut. Now, same thing, we want to select what we want to cut away. So we're going to select both of these shapes here. Once they're selected, we'll hit our space bar. And from here, we can make sure that they go past the top and the bottom of the part. Once that's done, we'll choose OK, and you can see that our solid is cut away from those profiles. Now I'll go back to the top view, and then I'll turn off my front view wireframe. Now the last thing that we want to do is we want to create some fillets. The order in which you create fillets is important and will affect your overall result. In this case, for the inside shape, we want to do the inside corners first so we have a nice smooth transition between these two edges. So we'll go to solid and fillet. We're going to do a two millimeter fillet. And then from here, we'll pick this edge here. And then we'll also pick this edge here. Once they're selected, we'll hit our space bar. And now we can see we have our inside fillets done. And then we'll just pick this edge here and hit our space bar. And that will uh, add the fillet to the rest of the edges that we want. Now, similar scenario here on this outside edge here, we need to break this to smooth it out. We need to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to change this uh, radius size to two and a quarter. We'll do one here and we'll do one here. Once those are done, we'll hit our space bar. Now we've added that fillet at the intersection and then we'll go back to the two mil, meter, uh, two mil radius for the outside edges. So we'll pick this edge here and we'll pick that edge there and we'll hit our space bar. And now you can see we have a nice smooth transition a radius all the way around the park. So if you guys have any questions or comments about uh, this uh, stage of this project, uh, please let me know. Reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.